G'day ladies and gents, I'm Jax, this is JD Creations, and today I've got an interesting little project for you. Have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons before? Because I haven't, but I've been asked to make something for a Dungeons and Dragons player, and it got me a little bit intrigued in the game, and I've come to learn that it's a massive thing. So let me know down in the comments if you've played it before, and let's go make something cool. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that YouTube can let you know when my next project comes out. Because who knows, it might be another D&D project. Let's get making! <laughs>
So now, after all that polishing, I gotta go and cut this up. It's petrifying. It really is. turned out pretty damn cool. I'm absolutely stoked with the colors and the grain pattern in this is next level. I mean, check out that burl. And on top of that, it just glistens in that light. Now the lid is a super tight fit. And I put a nice piece of leather in the bottom there because this is a dice holder slash tray. I think it's like a dice tray that you can roll your dice in, but it'll also keep them nice and secure when you fix the lid on when you're not playing the game. Because that lid's not going anywhere. There were parts of this build that were quite a challenge, but one thing that was not a challenge was pouring this whole thing in one go. So I used Health of Mind Rivercast for this pour, and as you saw in the footage, it was really deep. But Rivercast is formulated for deep pours, so it really allows you to do some crazy stuff in one go and not have to come back day after day to add depth to your casting. I went with my favorite finishes on this one, the custom grit step one and step two. I used the liquid wax to finish off the leather, and off camera I used the high speed polishing compound just to give it a little bit of extra shine. Now while wet sanding this piece, I also used the blue sheen. At least I think that's what it's called. I'll have to check. I got a bottle of this stuff before it was named, so it doesn't actually tell me on the bottle what it's called. But this blue liquid is used for wet sanding. Put a little bit of it in the water, it helps to prolong the life of your sandpaper and disperse all the crud that gets built up in there while you're wet sanding. I am a fan of this, but unlike just about every other uh, Custom Creations finish, you're not going to see me eating this one. If you guys want to try out the resin that I used in this project or any of the finishing supplies, check the description down below. All the links are there and there's a discount code down there as well for custom creations. Overall, this dish turned out pretty large. It's 190 mil across by about 50 mil deep. We're a little bit smaller on the inside because I wanted to maintain a good wall thickness to really ensure that it was a solid, solid tray. As you've seen in past videos, when you turn resin thin on the lathe, it really heats up and it can lose its shape very quickly. So I need to head out and get this thing delivered, but apparently I make D&D products now. So if you are a D&D player, Hit me up, let me know if you need a custom piece, or introduce me to the game a bit. Tell me where I can find information on what it's all about. Leave any info you've got for me in the comments section down below because I reply to every comment and I am keen to find out more about this game. Until next time champions, stay safe, look after yourself, and I will see you soon.